back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk to you about spring trends in fashion for 2017. It's always fun to kind of dive into what the new fashion trends will be and usually it's something that's being recreated from the past. I'm a busy mom and I usually live in fitness clothes 99% of my life but that 1% that I am out there doing fun, exciting things, photo shoots, events, whatever. I really love fashion and I love affordable fashion. I am constantly looking to see what's new, what's gonna be popular for the next season, what type of fabrics and colors and all of that are gonna be on trend. I'd like to kind of use it as a basis for what I'm going to add to my collection throughout the seasons. If you do enjoy fashion type of videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel before we even get started. Started. I don't want you to miss any of the fun. We're just gonna jump right into this video and I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on this year's fashion trends. Even if it's not mentioned in this video, I want to hear from you what your favorite spring fashion 2017 trend is. Let's jump right into the video. So for this video, I did not go out and buy a bunch of new clothes. I actually just looked in my closet to see what I have that actually goes along with the spring fashion trends. Trends come and go and usually they replicate one another at some point in time. I already had pieces that kind of go in line with what the fashion trend is this year. The first trend is the one that I'm wearing right now, which is the cut out shoulders for shirts. This is such a popular style. I can totally understand why. Like it's super fun, it's different, it's unique. It's a different take on just a regular t-shirt. I personally think that this is a style that looks great on everyone. If you are someone that likes to keep your arms covered, this is a great option for you because you can still do long sleeve or three quarter length sleeve to kind of keep you covered, but you still have a little bit of fun by letting the shoulders out. But this is one that I absolutely love. It's just a basically like an army green, olive green type of color. It is three quarter length. Some of these items are probably not gonna be found because they are older items that were in my closet. Some of them I may be able to find and if I do, I will have them linked below. And then this one is another really cute one that has the cut out shoulders. This is kind of like a wine colored top and this one is long sleeve. Again, spring's coming so there's gonna be plenty of short sleeve options but this one is from Hollister. Everyone can benefit from this type of style. It's fun, it's flirty, and you don't have to worry about wearing a strapless bra. You can wear a regular bra with this type of shirt and you're not gonna be hanging out. You can keep the girls up and still have a little fun and flair with your clothes. The next trend for spring of 2017 is the off the shoulder look. That one shoulder hanging out sort of like casual chic type of style this shirt is one that i have this is by bella it's a dressier shirt but it totally goes off the shoulder so you could have it off of both shoulders or you could have it hanging off of one shoulder the style that I'm talking about is basically hanging off of one shoulder. I'm all about comfort and this type of style is totally like comfort friendly. Oversized t-shirts and sweatshirts and dressier shirts like this. Like there's so many different ways to wear this particular trend. With this, you could wear a strapless bra, you could wear a bralette, you could wear a lace like halter bra. There's so many different ways to style this type of look. I just love it. You could just pop on a tank top underneath it, which is what I do a lot of times. If you watched New York Fashion Week, it was all over the runways, that off the shoulder look with casual to really dressy styles. This is just really, really in. The next trend is floral prints. You guys, oh my gosh, I think it's so girly and dainty, but there for a while, it really kind of went out of style and it started to seem like everything that was floral was kind of like grandma-ish and no, nothing against grandmas, they just like to wear a lot of floral. I am so excited that floral is really in this season. This is a top that I have by Almost Famous. It's got a little tie around the neck, so you've got like, it becomes like a little necklace type of tie. You could tie it in a bow or a little knot or just kind of have it hanging. 
I love that little accent on it. The floral print that I'm seeing in trend right now is the smaller floral print. I just think it's really soft and dainty and girly. It just like screams spring look to me. Another popular trend and one that I really, really love. I am so into it right now. Lace dresses. I think they're so cute. I think they're so pretty. It reminds me of like breakfast at Tiffany's. It's so on trend right now. For this trend, I really wanted to share with you these two dresses that were sent to me by Oogs. I believe is the name Oogs Storefront. It's O-U-G-E-S. This store has such cute items and they're all very affordable. And these two dresses are two that really stuck out to me. First dress is like a red and navy blue color. It's so classy looking. It's really great high quality fabric. I think this dress is just a very timeless style. It's got a half sleeve and of course it is all lace. It is so pretty. And this dress runs for $25.99 on Amazon. The great thing is I have a promo code for you guys to use to save 10% off of anything in their store, not just these particular dresses. Anything your little heart desires, you can save 10% off. The next dress is this black round neck sleeveless flare elegant lace party dress. If there's anything that reminds me of breakfast at Tiffany's, this dress reminds me so much of it with it being that classic black. It just is so classy to me. It just looks so pretty. Another really timeless piece and lace is just really, really in. This particular dress is so comfortable to wear. I love the neckline. If you look at Mario Valentino's collection, he has got tons of beautiful lace dresses. This is a great way for you to get this type of trend at a discounted price. The black dress is $27.99 on Amazon. The next trend I wanna talk about is khaki. The color khaki, khaki, everything, khaki, khaki, khaki. I think Kim K really kind of brought this back with her khaki trench coat. She really made this style popular again. This is one of the khaki shirts that I have that I absolutely love. This is a very kind of sheer shirt. This is by Mont. Monteo, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. It's got this pretty lace <laughs> detail in the back and it's like a floral print. So I'm kind of including three of the styles, the floral, the lace, and the khaki all in one piece. And I will definitely be breaking this out for this spring. It's going to be perfect to go right on trend with what's on the runways this year. Okay, so the last two trends are ones that you really wouldn't expect. Always expect the unexpected. The next one I wanna talk about is a color that is on trend and that is the color yellow. Yellow is super popular. It was all over the runways this year. Every shade of yellow, a mustard yellow to canary yellow to a very vibrant yellow color like this. This one is by Massimo. This has got really cute like zipper detail around the bottom of the jacket. This is one that I may not wear for spring unless it's on a day that's a little bit chilly because it is a little bit of a heavier jacket. You're going to see yellow everything, yellow dresses, yellow shirts, yellow tanks, yellow everything in your local stores this year. So get ready. A lot of people are scared of it because it's kind of a bold color and not one that most people typically go for. This is a super fun color this season. Embrace the yellow this season and yeah, I love this. The last trend I wanna talk about is stripes. This is a super kind of scary trend because stripes are not always the most flattering fashion trend for everyone. This is one that you really have to kind of figure out what pieces look best on you and accentuate your best features. This is actually a maxi dress. It goes all the way down to the floor. It's got some pretty like floral print over here. Kind of reminds me of like a Hawaiian style dress. It still has your horizontal stripes, but because the floral print is going vertical, it almost like tricks your eye so it doesn't go straight to the horizontal stripes making you look a little bit wider. So I really love this piece because I can still be in trend without feeling self-conscious like the dress is making me look bigger than what I am. It has this little piece right around right under the bust line that kind of cinches you in a little bit so it kind of creates a waistline there. This is probably my least favorite trend of the season right now just because stripes can be very, very tricky. Don't think that you can't wear stripes. Make sure to just pick up a ton of pieces. 
You never know until you get in that dressing room and put something on whether you're going to love it or not. That is that. I do love this maxi dress and I will see if I can find some new pieces for this spring with that particular trend and see if I can find some decent pieces that I really like. We shall see. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite trend is for 2017, whether it be one of the ones that I mentioned or one that I didn't mention. We need to know what type of fashion trends we need to be on the lookout for this season. I appreciate all the support on my channel. We are headed to 30,000 subscribers and I could not be more excited and more appreciative to you guys for tuning in and then actually enjoying my videos. That just makes me excited. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.